Let's do this Hess's Law um, problem using the heats of formation of these particular substances. So um, I guess it's this problem is saying um, figure out the heat of uh, the reaction of this reaction using its particular or its uh, various heats of formation. Um, so we've got ethylene here and it's really important that you know the state of matter of these things, okay? Because like as, as you can see on this table, it's got water gaseous and water liquid. They've got different heats of formation, okay? Why? Because they're different states, you know? So it takes more energy to take it from a, you know, solid to a liquid or a gas or whatever. Okay, anyways, so um, the first thing we want to do, so what are we looking for? We're looking for delta E of this reaction, okay? And we know the heats of formation of these different particles, okay? Is everybody okay with that? Um, I guess the first thing we should do is balance this equation. You guys should have reminded me, right? So uh, what have we got here? So what did we say it was? It was three, two, Two, right? Okay, so um, it's very important to balance because if you don't, you won't be able to do this problem. Okay, so heat of formation is in uh, units of kilojoules per mole. So help me out um, by looking at the table, if you guys could. What is the heat of formation of ethylene here? So plus 52.3. Um, what about oxygen? Gas. Zero, right? Okay, so make sure you guys get that. Why is it zero kilojoules? Because it's it's in its uh, it's in its most stable form at uh, atmospheric conditions. Okay, and it's in its elemental form. Okay, so I that's why I wanted to do this problem with you guys so I could give get that kind of trick in there. Um, so, carbon dioxide, what is it? Point 0.5, right? Okay. And water gaseous, negative 241.8. Okay. So, how do we do this? So, the heat of the reaction is going to be the sum. You guys know the summation symbol, right? The sum of the total, so heat of formation of the products minus the sum of the heat of formation of the reactant. Now let's see if we can fit all of that in one line. Okay, so on the small board. So what do we have here? So the products are, so we've got to multiply by the um, coefficient too. So it's going to be 2 times negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole plus 2 times negative 241.8 kilojoules per mole minus well 1 so what I'm going to put it times 52.3 kilojoules per mole plus zero, or I'm sorry, plus five, sorry, not five, plus three, times zero kilojoules per mole. Okay. Is everybody okay with that equation? 
Okay, so now all you do is just plug that into your calculator. So, Okay, so this is the number I got, and hopefully everybody got the same number as me. Um, so we'll say 0, 0.0. Um, negative 1, 3, 2, 2.9 kilojoules. Per So that is the heat of the reaction. Okay. Is this an exothermic or endothermic reaction? Exo, right? So um, hopefully you guys can see how this is very similar to, in fact, this is Hess's law in action. Okay. Any questions on this one? Pretty straightforward. I guess the thing to remember is the standard state thing, okay? And you have to be given all those numbers. 